like this. It's like matte packaging. It has like a texture, like a non-texture texture, if that makes sense. Get back into that yin-yang kind of set up there. And my nails made teeth. <laughs> evening's video I have a haul for you guys from partly from normal which is like a shop with random stuff in it very random um, kind of reminds me of like flying tiger um, Hema this kind of thing I think it originates from somewhere in the north Scandinavian country for sure but I can't remember which one I'm sorry in something, something a bit north from here anyway. Um, and I went, I think, two or three times in my life to normal. I didn't even know it existed until like last year or so. Um, I got a bunch of things and then I put the bag in my laundry room where I stock, like, I store all this stuff for my channel and stuff like that. And then I didn't look at it again until now. <laughs> and um, yeah. So it's like a little surprise to find this stuff. And what I had done is I had popped a few other things from like, um, I think, I want to say it was Look Fantastic or something, um, one of the sales. And I just like popped it in the same bag um, because I wanted to use the box that it was in. So this is like um, a grouping of two different shopping trips, I guess, one online and one in person. They're quite small, so I thought I would just smoosh them together. And also that would kind of put a little bit more order in my laundry room, give me some space. <laughs> and also I was happy to find this stuff because I'd forgotten that I got it. I don't know if that happens to everyone or if it's just like a youtube -y thing where you put things aside because you know you're going to do a video on it and then you forget about it and then you find like surprise shopping bags. And you're like, oh yeah, I went shopping. So nothing in um, this haul is anything that is like super urgent. <laughs> nothing is like things that I need to use right, right now. So I didn't miss anything. So this is the shopping bag that you can get there. I think like for 20 cents or something. But it's that kind of material where it's like paper material. I don't know what the material is made out of, but it is biodegradable and reusable, but I don't really like them because I don't think they're reusable. I think they're very um, fragile and it doesn't take much to break them. So I'm not comfortable using them with any amount of stuff in them. Like I'm okay to use it to store something in or like as a dust bag maybe. Oh, that's maybe a really good idea, actually. kind of gives me dust, dust bag vibes. Like, you know, you would keep a purse in it or a pair of shoes to keep them from getting dusty. I think I may have found a use for these bags. Okay, let me pop this bag to the side and let's have a little look at the stuff from normal first. Well, let's make some more sounds of this bag first, actually. Recyclable and reusable. I 
I might add this. I might add this to like a trigger video for a no talking video or something. It's funny because that's another thing you kind of stock up on is just things that sound nice and you just like store it until the day you have time to make a video which never comes so you just end up storing a lot of weird stuff. Well not weird stuff but just stuff that you shouldn't just be stocking. sounds of this bag, can you tell? I'm like, <laughs> I'm waiting. Yeah, this is getting good side. One of the first things I got is this little tub of cotton buds, which I know you should not be putting in your ears, but I have been doing it since I was a kid and I love it and I will never stop because I'm addicted to it. Um, I won't let my children do it. <laughs> I know it's dangerous, but I don't know, it's just one of those things that I don't feel clean and dry after a shower if I don't do it. And I do clean my kids' ears, but just not with these ones. I clean them with the Kid Safe ones. Have you seen them? They they look the same, but like the actual cotton part is like a big round ball with a little tip. So like you can clean inside their ears and even if they push, like they can. And I don't let them do it by themselves. So it's fine. But they are also useful for a lot of other things too. I use them also for makeup, <laughs> like if I make a mess with my eyeliner, I use them, what else do I use them for? Like any cleaning, I use them for cleaning a lot, like imagine you clean something and you just can't get in that corner, you know what I mean? Like if you're cleaning the shower, like sometimes like on the outside of the shower, like at the bottom, there's like a ridge and you just can't, you know, one of these. To pop your cleaning solution on it and just use that. Just any little corner you can clean just easily. got these ones. They are, oh, they're wooden. They're wooden ones. I think these I'll use mostly for cleaning. The other ones I get from Auchan are like cardboard. I think they're probably better for the environment than wooden ones. I think I'll use these for cleaning. They'll hold up better. I would have got them if I saw that they were wooden. Okay, let's have a look at what else I got in Nogmar. Nogmar is like, there's so much stuff in there. There's like cleaning stuff, beauty stuff, food, kitchen stuff, a lot of like shampoo and conditioners for some reason, like a lot. <laughs> They even have like makeup and stuff and a lot of like makeup tools. Even like electric toothbrushes and just like loads of stuff. And like some things are like name brand things and then some things are like, I don't know, brands <laughs> like this. So this is a little um, thing to clean your face. It's like a little silicone 
what do you call it, facial cleansing pad, yeah, a little silicone pad, um, there's like a little handle at the back that kind of suctions onto your shower, so you can let it dry. Um, when I'm not using something with already some sort of scrub-like texture, which I very rarely use on my face anyway, this feels like physical exfoliation, but like soft. And I have had maybe like three of these. This is my third, I would say. The other ones I've got from like beauty boxes. The other ones I've got from Beauty Boxes, so yeah, you just suction that onto your, like, the side of your shower, and then rinse, when it's all rinsed and it just dries nice. So it stays nice and clean. Although after a while, I get the ick. Even though I know it's probably clean, I just get the ick. And I'm like, how can I clean this? And I don't know. All it takes is for me to see this fall onto something not clean, like the the drain, if it's not completely like clean or something, or if it falls onto like the, the bath mat that has like some hair or <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> I just get the ick so I want to change it out and I know that's really wasteful. I just, I can. It should be easy <laughs> to just clean it. Because, I mean, it's literally just silicone. Okay, it's got lots of little, like, teeth, I guess you would say. But it's definitely cleanable. <laughs> you can definitely, definitely clean it. Sounds nice. It's probably getting dirtier from me, like, scraping my nails on it than it ever has in the shower, but... I don't know. Does anybody else get that? They just get the ick sometimes and they just have to get rid of something. That's like, I know that I would be like that with uh, solid products. Like any, like, shampoo bars or fish cleansers or anything in bar form. I just get the ick so quickly. I'm sure it would be perfectly fine and I would just chuck it. Because there would be like one hair next to it or something. I'm not like a super clean freak. Like, I clean my house, but not like, I'm not like Like, I could be fine with the house just being okay for a long while, and then one day I'll just get the ache. That sounds amazing. I have um, a Blue Yeti now, so maybe um, this could be a really cool thing to be like over the Blue Yeti and like really here. Because it's like, I can make you hear on both sides like this or just one or just one but I feel like with the blue yeti you would get like right intense but both sides because they're so close together the two mics I used to be able to do that with my other mic which was one single mic um which was my zoom um handy recorder thingy which I still have I used to route the two mics through um to be able to record straight onto the SD card, but um, the actual mic head has some problems, so I can't use it like that anymore. Okay, what else did I get? Oh yeah, I got this. I'm sad about this because I did um, I did this little shopping trip in like like the end of November or something. And I got this for my daughter for Christmas. And now we're in January and I feel bad <laughs> that this was not in her... I was going to maybe just like pop it over her stocking, like a little, you know? And no, I was too late. I 
forgot it existed. <laughs> um, I have a few of these little head wrap uh, drying, like hair drying kit things. Well, not kits, but like, you know, the little wraps that I got from like different uh, beauty boxes. I think I have three and she's the one that uses them the most. So I thought this was just like a really cute one. Like her hair's not that long so she could easily pop it up in this for sure. Cute cap which quickly absorbs surplus moisture after hair washing. Yeah. Warning, small parts, choking hazard. Hair drying cap, bonnet de séchage des cheveux, polyester. use these. I feel like they're just like a little extra care, you know? It's not something you need to do really, but it does like give that little extra feel of like, oh, I'm taking care of myself, you know? I far too often just go to bed with wet hair, with nothing between me like shaking um, a towel, <laughs> like rubbing a towel against my head, and going to sleep. There's all Tangle teaser, maybe. That's about it. But sometimes, every now and again, look at the little eyes, so cute. Every now and again, I will use one of these and I'll be like, why don't I use these every time? And then I don't use them again for a very long time. It's just that extra step, isn't it? Sometimes you just don't. Either you just don't have time for that extra step or you're just, you're just tired and you're just like, I just want it to be done. <laughs> I want it to be finished. I want it to be in bed already. Okay, I think that's all of the beauty items I got on that trip to normal. It's the French January sales at the moment, like the winter sales period. Their sales are from the second Wednesday in January until um, like I think the second Wednesday in February. I think they have like a four week period of sales. So I might pop into normal again and just have a little like I haven't been there since this trip in like November. So. And the first trip that I went to normal. I got the scrub mommy. Not mommy, mommy. And I haven't even tried it. And you know why? Because I wanted to wait because I wanted the scrub daddy too. And I thought, oh, I'll wait until I unbox the scrub daddy in the video and then I'll be able to use both of them. So all this time of me owning a scrub mommy, I have had zero benefit. <laughs> like zero scrubbing benefits from it. Just been in that bag waiting. I thought I want to show both of them on camera at once and what if I use it and it like doesn't look as nice. <laughs> like the edges are not so perfect or like it gets stained or I don't know. Yeah, I'm finally going to be able to use this thing <laughs> and see what all the fuss is about. Oh my goodness. I just put my um, fingers in the mouth part and my nails made teeth. <laughs> he has little purple and blue teeth. That's kind of creepy, but cute. It kind of works the other way as well. Not as, not as well. <laughs> I wonder if I'm the first person to give a scrub mommy teeth. Or maybe I'm maybe the first person to notice it. I'm sure I'm not the first person that's like done that, like even to use it maybe. <laughs> so silly. These might make um, great sounds too. I think I've seen these in a bunch of YouTube videos in the past couple of years. So flex, texture, scrub. 
rubber, soft in warm water, and firm in cool water. I'm the perfect partner for all your cleaning needs. There's nothing else like me. Well, actually, your wife. <laughs> or your partner. Because they're daddy and mommy. stains, no, many stains, with just water to minimize your use of harsh chemicals. And as always, I'm scratch-free and odor resistant. Over one and a half inches of serious scrubbing power. That wasn't written on the scrub mommy one. <laughs> America's favorite sponge, scratch-free, dishwasher safe, deep cleaning, and versatile smile. I think my kids are going to find that cute. I can help you all around your home. Household cabinets, hardware floors, walls and baseboards, kitchen, dishes, fridge, produce, counters, cutting boards, outdoor, lawn furniture, swing sets, fences, deck railings, in the bathroom, shower, sink and toilet fixtures. No toilet. Sink and toilet. Fixtures and cabinets. The Smile Face Sponge Company. Oh, Scrub Daddy doesn't have the softy soft bit like Scrub Mommy. Okay, I think that Scrub Daddy is going to be the use on the floor or like, you know, like daddy things like outside. And then Scrub Mommy is going to be for, like, the kitchen. Maybe I should get, like, a, a kitchen mommy, a bathroom mommy, an outside daddy, and, like, a homeware daddy. Yeah, I think I might do that. Well, it's a shame they don't come in different colors. And I could be like, oh, the pink one is the kitchen mommy. And the yellow one is the outside daddy. The yellows are different, by the way. They're, um, this one's more, like, fluorescent. Yeah, these are gonna have to be in another video. That is a crunchy, crunchy sounding spot. going to normal. Maybe, um, should I go this week? If I have time to go this week, I will go. I don't like going on Saturday, obviously. Nobody likes to go into town on Saturday. Except from all the people that have to, because they work during the week to specific hours. I am lucky enough to be able to take, like, a day here and there without too much. to like take a day to just do errands and shop and be lucky to be able to do that on like a Monday or a Thursday or something. And since the sales just started today, we are Wednesday today, the sales just started today, I think um, a lot of um, people take their Wednesday to be with their kids because in France not all children go to school on Wednesday. Like, they only start going to school on Wednesdays from, like, the first year of, like, high school. So, like, um, middle school, I guess. Mm -hmm. the best. So, like, 11, 12 years old. And even then, they only do half a day. My son that goes to the Galderie, which is, like, a child care, but, like, school. And my daughter to 
lot in the morning on Wednesday and then on Wednesday afternoon where there is no school she has this like sports program where she does like 5k's and like orienteering and like lots of fun stuff like that so I'm still able to work on Wednesdays <laughs> and my partner too so today I'm working on my channel <laughs> so I'm still kind of working but yeah I did I wouldn't want to go shopping today because this is like a day that a lot of people have off because they like are with their kids and they, um, they would maybe like to go for the first day of the sales. Okay, so that's everything I got from normal, but I do have a bunch of stuff that I got from I think I want to say look fantastic um, in their last sale, which was goodness knows when, probably in November too. Okay, the first thing I got is this little box, Beautify with an E. Eye patches, instant brightening and energizing hydro gel patches. Under eyes are awakened, reinvigorated, and refreshed. Contains vitamin C, licorice, and ginseng to revive and minimize under eye darkness. Hydrogel patches infuse the delicate eye area with hydration for external use only. Um, and the reason I got these is because it's just like a little pot filled with them. I don't even know how many of them are. 30. 30 pairs. And I thought it's pixie, so it's going to be good. Pixie skin treat. And I don't have any idea what the price was because it was a long time ago. But the price must have been good because I already have eye masks from like different companies from the beauty boxes. And I don't always use them. I just feel like they're like special, <laughs> like one use things. But I want, like I wanted something that I would use regularly. And I thought if I have a pot of 30, I won't feel that kind of like, what well, has to be a special day. Use enclosed spatula. Oh, it's gonna have a mini spatula. To gently lift and separate each patch. Apply onto clean, dry under eye area with the thickest part at the outer corner. Repeat on the other side, leave for 10 minutes and discard after use. Gently pat the remaining serum into skin. Use daily or as often as needed. Use chilled for extra debuffing effect. I don't think I would always want to use it chilled, to be honest. So yeah, Pixie Beautify. Vitamin C and licorice. Vitamin C brightens and energizes. A licorice even skin tone and ginseng revitalizes vitalizes <laughs> and balances a little bit. A bit of space there. Oh, it's so pixie. Look at that color. Very pixie. The yellow and the green. It's very, very pixie. I like pixie a lot. I like the makeup. I like the skincare. I like the toner. I like the glow mist. I like and do you know what? Pixie by Petra. I have no idea who Petra is, by the way. <laughs> I'm just guessing it's a makeup artist that made a brand. I have no idea who it is. <laughs> Does anybody know who that is? Maybe it's like someone super famous. Like a model or something, or famous scientist. <laughs> I always felt like it was someone famous that I just didn't know. Must be sealed. <laughs> we have a little spatula which kind of looks like a spoon. There's a little concave 
ass back there. <laughs> oh, look. Let me just up in here. Ooh, gunky. Oh, look, our first one stuck up there. Okay, I can smell the ginseng. It's not like fruity or anything. It's like you can like smell the spice. It smells nice though. Nice and fresh. Okay, I can't wait to actually use these. I want to like spoon it. <laughs> not like hug it, but you know. I want to use my little spoon on one of them. Ooh, my little spatula. Let me spatula this one off the lid. Like some? <laughs> I feel like I'm already like a sample. Um, no, it's gonna go back down that way. And just like get back into that yin yang kind of set up there. squelch. Oh now I've got to clean this spoon. <laughs> Didn't think of that, did you then? Okay, I'll pop it to the side. And the next thing I got is this little box of warming eye masks. Five in there. For relaxing, sleeping, or meditating, sleeping, or traveling. Relaxing chamomile self-warming eye mask. And I actually used one of these probably from a uh, beauty box, for sure. And I liked it a lot. You always think of like cold things on your eyes to relax, don't you? Well, I do. Like you always hear about like putting it in the fridge to make it more relaxing and more cooling and everything. But actually warming the eyes is very, very relaxing. Okay, five packs of self-warming eye masks with a relaxing chamomile scent. These self-warming eye masks are designed to help relieve tired eyes and create a calming moment. Maybe a little bubble of calm. Individually wrapped, they are also the perfect travel companion. Unfold the mask and gently tear apart the two ear loops by pulling apart at the middle. Open the ear loops away from the mask. Hook the ear loops over your ears and position the mask over eye area. Relax and enjoy 20 minutes of gentle warmth over the eye areas. My partner actually <laughs> I think I got him one for like last Christmas in his stocking. We can maybe do these together. Warming Looks the same as packaging. Yeah, I think I got this in a, a beauty box and I liked it, so. Okay. I have three other items I got. says don't use where you're wearing contact lenses. You don't want to heat up your contact lenses. <laughs> That's weird. I've never thought of that. Okay. This next item is a polar deodorant. Is it deodorant or? Yeah, it's just deodorant. It's not antiperspirant. Mineral deodorant with arctic lichen. This is maybe like the second one of these. 
that I've bought. I got one in a box, I think. And this might be the second one I've, like, repurchased. This deodorant with natural alum and arctic lichen provides long-lasting protection without leaving white marks. Alcohol-free, does not contain mineral oils or paraben, gentle on skin, tested under dermatological control. Yeah, it smells pretty good. I actually really enjoy the scents of Polar products. Um, some of the creams are a bit intense for my skin, like my skin can't deal with it, it's too much. But... And I'm not a fan of the lip just because in general I don't like lip balms and glasses and stuff but this is a lovely, lovely smelling deodorant and it works nicely like any other if I'm actually going anywhere and doing something where I might be like stressed or like running around I will use my Mitchum's um, like 40 hour protection with aluminium in it and all that but, like, on a day-to-day -day basis, I'll use something like this. Just nice and fresh. I actually really enjoy scents that smell like just washing. Like, you've just done, like, clean clothes. Um, I feel like I had a perfume once. <laughs> it's weird. It's a baby perfume. Um, when my daughter was born, like, somebody gave us as a present baby perfume. It exists. Like, newborn baby perfume. I was like, there's no way I'm putting that on my child, but okay. And then I was using it myself, and it smelled amazing. Just like freshly washed clothes, but like, perfect. Not freshly washed clothes that smells like a meadow, or smells like this, or sea like fresh breeze and all that kind of stuff. No, like literally just clean and fresh. Like I don't know how to, to like, apart from buying baby perfume, I don't know see how I can like reproduce that. Apart from with like something like this, but it is still, you know, it's different. And I grabbed this little kit. I think it must have been like super inexpensive because I already have like enough <laughs> glove um, products. Oh no, I know why I got it. This. Um, it's the shower glove that I love, 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 love. And my one is just like on the edge of like, you need to retire me. Like, do you know what I mean? Love. I love this brand so much. Like pretty much 80% of what I have from them I have bought myself. Like only 20% I've got in like um, in boxes. Which is saying something. That's like, I, I usually really don't need to buy anything like this. Okay. Glove Zen is an essential part of your skincare routine. It will take no, it will help take care of your beautiful complexion and firm body using water only. The set contains the best-selling glove on the go makeup removal glove. I have one of those already too. Maybe two even. As well as the, although the one I have is like white and it's like stained, I can't unstain it. It's like makeup, so. Both, um, and one massage glove. Both products are reusable and can be used for up to three months. Okay, that's why my one needs to retire because I've used it way more than three months. Okay, I don't feel so bad. I was like, oh, maybe it's supposed to, like, last forever, you know, but no. It's lasted me way more than three months. I'm talking, like, eight, ten months. <laughs> okay. I will be swapping it out with this one as soon as it gets popped into the washing machine. Skin smoothing, on the go, and a cosmetics bag. And now I remember that I thought this cosmetics bag was going to be textured 
like faux leather when I saw this cracked kind of effect I thought it was going to be like really amazing sounds and everything but no it's like string on it can you see that? it does not make great sounds at all I was really disappointed but at least I won't be disappointed with what's inside oh I just had a great idea I can tell my son that Spider-Man <laughs> shot webs all over this I might actually really want to have this maybe I would need to remove the little pom-pom and then he can use this like as a little Spider-Man pencil case and we have little instructions for each of the gloves moisten the glove with water optionally you can add shower gel Massage your body towards the heart, from ankles to knees, from knees to stomach. Rinse it out. Once it's dry, it can be reused. Yeah, I just hang it up in the shower and then pop it in the washing machine, like, every now and again. Okay, it's clean before first use. Press your glove on skin to gently remove makeup in circular motions. Clean with glove magnet cleanser or the bar of soap if I have the cleanser, but I usually just pop a bit of cleanser on it, rinse it and pop it in the machine once it's dry it can be reused oh they're not purple <laughs> isn't that weird? I so thought these were purple how did I not see? I'm sorry but they're purple are they not purple? yeah that is purple yeah, anyway, I don't care. So this, yeah, it has that weird, um, if you've ever felt one of these before washing it and like with just dry hands, just like rubbing your dry hands on it is weird. It like catches on every tiny piece of skin that is not perfectly soft, which is like all of my skin. So. <laughs> yeah, it's not the best feeling right now, but on my face. so much better than any other one I've tried but it just is I don't know if it's like the material like if you look close it's just like let me zoom actually it's just like lots of little twirled knots like lots of little knots there and like the shape of the glove just looks a bit like oh that's a bit weird it doesn't look great but actually it's perfect like slip your hand in and then you have like your your thumb and pinky to like just be more you know I don't know there's just something about it although when you turn your hand to use the other side it's less comfortable but you know it works okay I'm happy about that so I have something a little more to remove and a scrubby dub dubber <laughs> to re replace my probably way too old one I'm probably going to get a surprise when I use this and be like oh I remember what it used to be like <laughs> okay if they have any of these on sale anywhere I'm probably going to get some more to like make sure that I do transition at like three <laughs> maybe you know what maybe I'll push it to like six months and see, I don't <laughs> seem to be fine okay, the last but not least by any means dun, 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 dun. real techniques yay I love real techniques brushes like I'm not a snob when it comes to brushes I am okay with like any brand if it's soft, if it's nice, and applies makeup nicely, honestly, I couldn't care less what the brand is, but there is something about Real Techniques that just make me feel like I trust them and like they're going to be good quality for a long time. 
this is like a little cheek pack for blush, bronzer and highlighter. Perfect finish kit. Isn't it cute? I have like the original um, set of like face brushes that they had. I had like some eye ones plus like an extra one or two brushes and like a big fluffy powder one. But I think it's kind of time for me to um, replace some of them actually to be honest. But I've had them for so long, like 10 years, guys. Soft light bristles applies powder or cream blush for a natural finish. The precise fan, small flared head, sweeps cream and powder highlighters. The contour, gently tapered focused contour application into the hollows of the cheek. Let me just open this horrendous sounding packaging. I know this is going to be like, it's going to really grate my ears, so for you guys it will be, be horrible. There's a cute little heart backing paper. <laughs> I keep this kind of stuff for my daughter in case she just wants to do like some DIY or like draw something. is a little button mirror. It's like Real Techniques silvery. Um, just like a little mirror. I'm not a fan of these kind of mirrors. They just get dirty in my bag and I just end up like losing them or breaking them or something. So I'll just pop this to the side. I might pop this into one of the eBay boxes as a little extra. I know some people like them. Okay. Well this one has like a little not tape. You know that like plastic, almost like a rubbery plastic that they put on things sometimes. Okay. Oh yeah, super soft. I love Real Techniques. So this will be for my blush. This will be for my contour or bronzer. And then this one for my highlight. I've never really used fan brushes before. It seems fiddly to me, but maybe I'll like it. Okay. So that soft blush. Is that? Oh no, it's the name of the brush. I thought maybe it was like the name of the color, like of the line of brushes. Soft blush, contour brush, and precise fan. Okay. So yeah, that is everything I have to show you for today. I haven't done a haul in a long time, I feel like. I do love hauls. They're just something so cozy about seeing like little treasures that somebody went out and got. I'm one of those people as well that when I go shopping, I will literally like spread everything out on my bed or like on the floor or something to see everything I got and just like have a drink and just look at it all. <laughs> like I make myself a, a cup of tea and, and just like be like, oh, that's cool. I got all that lovely stuff. Or I'll like phone my mom and I'll do like a little haul for her on like Messenger. Or I'll show my partner. He doesn't care, but I'll show him anyway. He's patient enough. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, it's nothing. I thought there was like a blob of glue in it or something. I don't know. No, it's just like a little fluff. Probably from my blanket.
you found it relaxing and a little interesting to follow along my two little shopping trips. I haven't done like a beauty haul in a long time with all the beauty boxes. I don't really get a lot of stuff. Don't need a lot. There's not much that I'm like, oh, I really want to try that. Because often I'm just like, Oh, I have so much stuff to try. But yeah. I made some good choices in September, October, November time sometime. <laughs> I'm re excited to use them all. Okay. So if you made it to this part of the video without falling asleep, I would like you to pop a mommy and daddy emoji in the comments. Pay a little homage to scrub mommy and daddy. You can just pop that in with your regular comment. Or if you're far also my no talking channel if you need any ASMR to listen to in the background without me blah 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 blahing <laughs> or if you're trying to read at the same time as ASMR that's pretty good for that too and then there's my thrift vlog slash ebay journey ASMR channel as well as my Patreon where last month I did three <laughs> Patreon exclusive videos they were all lo-fi one um, British food haul one what I got my daughter for Christmas and one what I got my son for Christmas well, what we got them for Christmas not just me just before I wrap them up, I just had time to sit on my living room floor and show you guys. I don't know what the um, Patreon exclusive videos will be like this month because I haven't done the poll yet. We'll see. Okay. So. I hope that every single one of my love lovely sleepy squirrel so well wherever you are in the world whatever's happening around you I hope that you can find your own little bubble of calm for example if you are in Paris like my lovely, lovely patron page. Coucou page. J'espère que ça va. Merci, merci beaucoup pour tout ton soutien. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely.